After filling up on french fries, cake, and chicken, the kids made the very smart choice of heading to the park's most dangerous ride, the Momentum Coaster. It's the first ever indoor coaster designed to look like an outdoor one. Are you guys sure about this? I've never been on an indoor roller coaster before. It seems scary. And we just ate. Heck yeah, it's gonna be so cool. Come on, man. I'm gonna put my hair up because we're literally going to be as going as fast as the speed of light. Well, not quite that fast, but we will be going at top speed of 84.3 miles per hour. Whoa now, stranger danger. Who are you? I'm Sir Isaac Newton. You know, the man behind the three laws of motion, calculus, and... And gravity! You discovered gravity when you got hit in the head with an apple while sitting under an apple tree. Yes, thanks for reminding me. Hey. <laughs> gravity is a force of attraction between us and every other object. But you see, we only feel the force of gravity between us and the Earth because it's so massive. I don't know. I notice your attraction, Kelvin. Are you saying I'm fat like the Earth? No. Never mind. Well, Sir Isaac Newton. You can call me Mr. Newton. Okay, Mr. Newton. How do you know how fast we're going? Well, that's easy. I'll just calculate the potential energy we have at the top of the roller coaster. What do you mean, potential energy? Wouldn't there be no energy at the top? We're almost there, and we'll barely be moving by the time we get to the top. Hey! What? What gives, man? That's Sir Isaac Newton to you, man, and I'm about to educate you. You see, we have just as much energy here as we do at the bottom of the roller coaster when we're going our top speed. See, energy can't change. We can't be created or destroyed. So right now, we have potential energy at the top of the roller coaster. But where does that energy come from? You said the energy can't just come out of nowhere. Well, you see, the motor gave us mechanical energy and then converted that to potential energy as we rose to the top because potential energy is gained by increasing your height. But what happens to our potential energy when we go down the other side of the track? Well, that's a great question. You see, as we go down, our potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy. That's energy of motion. And when we reach the bottom, the kinetic energy will be at its maximum and will be at our top speed. So, Sir Isaac Newton. Please, call me Mr. Newton. Okay, okay, Mr. Newton. Can we get this energy going already? Sure, just give me one more example of potential energy being changed into kinetic energy. <sighs> He's such a teacher. I got this, guys. Another example would be with, like, a spring. When you push it down and compress it, it has a lot of potential energy. But when you release it, out comes all the kinetic energy, and then it goes boing and moves up and down. Excellent. Let's ride. Whoa! Here comes the loop de loop. No, no. Oh my god! Oh. 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 First apples, and now Apple devices. At least it wasn't a Mac computer. Oh. <laughs> Anybody want a Fig Newton? No! Hey man, stop stopping the roller coaster! It wasn't me. Will our adventurers ever find the light? Tune in next time to find out.